What's up, YouTube? Uh, I've been trying to use some other cameras tonight, but uh, they all sucked. So, it's going to take me a couple hours to upload this, but whatever. Alright, um, the other day I was talking about, actually it wasn't the other day, it was a while back, I was talking about uh, a rifle build I did. So, here's my M16. Uh, got done building it. I'm still one part short of making it complete in my mind until I decide to buy an optic for it. Um, but we'll just jump right in. Of course, Bravo Company. Uh, again, pretty sure they make the best direct impingement on the market today, and that's that's my opinion, but professional shooters use them, and uh, I have to agree, it's one heck of a built, well-built gun. Of course, uh, Voltor, uh, E-Mod stock. It does not have an A5 tube on it yet. I will get an A5 tube set up on it here as soon as I can, um, but it really doesn't need one right now. It's run on a standard H buffer from Bravo Company. Uh, but those E-Mods are excellent. Uh, the bad sticks real good to body armor and your, uh, your person. Uh, and of course the cheek weld's excellent. Uh, you can't, you can't beat a Voltor cheek weld. Maybe with an LMT SOT mod, but I still think, uh, Voltor's got them there. Uh, good old Myad grip from Magpul. Standard Bravo Company lower with their standard trigger. And I'm telling you, it's extremely smooth. I have no problem with it. Shoots excellent. I can shoot real fast and, uh, you can still take precise shots with it. Of course, uh, I got a Maytec rear sight meant for the M16s. Uh, it's got all the uh, yardage, well, technically meters. Uh, I'm trying to think of it off the top of my head. I'll just leave it in the video. Uh, you know, all your adjustments for your range and your windage and whatnot in one simple sight. Uh, I got it off Aries Armor for $44. I mean, you can't you can't pass up on an actual military Maytech for that cost. Uh, of course, uh, Bravo Gunfighter Charging Handle. Uh, standard on all my guns. It's a Bravo Company 20-inch uh, government profile upper receiver, 107 twist. Chrome lined, of course. Uh, Bravo Company Full Auto Bolt Carrier Group. Good old PMAGs. And then I got a RAS Rail from Knight's Armament. This is a seconds, but... There's nothing second about it in my book. Uh, went through and I measured it with my calipers. It was like four thousandths off on a couple laser engravings. So I guess the Marine Corps is pretty picky. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, there's a slight, you know, purplish hue to the entire metal, but that's common with just about any Knight's Arm product. So it was like, didn't bug me whatsoever. This is Cerakote. Went through and I Cerakoted the Coyote Tan. Uh, kind of matched my other furniture. Uh, I like how it came out. It looks really good. The rail fits nice and solid, and it gives you that real good classic M16A4 feel, which I was going for. Uh, Knight's Armament panels, Knight's Armament vertical grip. And really, you know, with that longer rail, you can get a nice reach out and uh, grab the forward of the gun and drive the weapon real hard. Um, I haven't run this one through a course yet. Uh, I ran the MIDI again, just because it had the aim point on it and everything, and the MIDI is a great gun. Nothing wrong with it. It's a carbine. Um, when I when I originally built this one, I wanted to have something that would have a little bit more longer range than a 16-inch barrel. Uh, Ballistic-wise, uh, I really like this gun. Shoots extremely soft. Um, drives target to target really well. Yeah, you don't jump out of trucks with it. I mean, it's 20-inch barrel. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, you don't have to look tactical all the time with the 16-inch barrel, even though this gun. It's capable of doing everything the 16 inch barrel will, except for else well, it's going to be a little bit more cumbersome. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, I carry it a lot. It's kind of a Miller USAF was talking about uh, Frontier Rifles. Uh, this would be considered my Frontier Rifle. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's classic in my book. And you know, a 20 inch barrel and you throw a 77 grain open tip match bullet in it. You could take down anything you want. You just you know, well placed shot is what you really need in the end. But of course, other side here. Bravo Company gun. All the way down. Of course, kept the A2 flash hiders, no need for a break on a 12 inch gas system. Shoots real soft with that gas system, it's dissipating fairly quickly. But of course the Maytech rear over here, you can see it better. This is my uh, VCM 20 inch, and uh, I will put my VTAC sling on it as soon as I get my gear sector QD mount right here. And uh, I have a light for it, but 
I really don't use it for clearing houses, so why do I need a light on it? No point. But that's just an overview of my 20 inch BCM. Feel free to leave a comment. All that good stuff. Alright, Defend Arizona out.